Hi there, Bumlock here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the most efficient way to farm legacy raids to obtain highly sought after mounts. Now, you gotta understand that these mounts are about a 1% drop rate, so chances are that this may take you some time. But keep at it and it will eventually happen. By doing this, I've got my hands on pretty much every mount I've been farming, like Invincible, Pure Blood Firehawk, and the three Dragon Soul mounts, Life Binders, Handmaiden, Blazing Drake, and Experiment 12B. I've been doing this for about two years now. I have tried different variations. I've seen a few different guides in the past, but most of them were not made very well or included steps that were not really needed. So what I'm going to show you guys today is the absolute best way to do this. This is going to save you hours and hours of work every week. Okay? So let's get into it. The way this works is by taking advantage of how raid lockouts work, as well as the custom group finder to basically maintain the save of the last boss to whatever raid you're trying to farm infinitely. Okay? Constantly clearing every raid every week on multiple characters is a huge, huge waste of time, especially when you have a lot of characters. First things first, this method is really only going to work on raids from Wrath of the Lich King and beyond. This is because heroic versions of raids didn't exist until Trial of the Champion, which is key to making this work. Okay. That being said, you are going to need a mule character to hold the saves. This needs to be a character that can at least enter the raid you're trying to farm. Ideally, it should be able to solo everything up to the final boss, but if that's not possible, you can have someone run you through. Okay? I do this farm on two different servers, one Horde, one Alliance. On my Alliance server, I just use the Demon Hunter, which obviously starts off at a high level. On my other server, I had a buddy carry me on my Shaman. Either way is fine. But please remember that you cannot kill the last boss of the raid with your mule or you're going to have to wait until next week and get the save again. So once you got your mule prepped, you're ready to go. So now it's time to figure out how many times a week you're going to be able to farm each raid. Basically, you're going to be limited to the number of characters you have that can actually solo kill the last boss of whatever raid you're trying to farm. For example, for Yogg Saron, I wouldn't really suggest anything lower than a level 100. It is possible on a level 90, and I have done it. Um, it's not really worth the time or effort to do this. Any raid beyond that, at least 100 characters is basically required. So for my setup, I have 10 characters I farm with. So this means I get 10 chances every week for whatever amount I want to farm. So... Let's get into the method. You want to start off on your mule. Open up the raid tab, click on the raid info to see the raids that you're saved to. Notice that my demon hunter is saved to Old War, 25 men, but has Yog Saron available to kill. If your lockout's not currently active, go ahead and reactivate the lockout. Next, open up the custom group finder and make a custom group, name it whatever you want. Um, once the group is created, go ahead and log off and then log on to the character that's actually going to be doing the run. Okay. Next, you're going to want to open up the custom group finder and find the group that your mule made. Uh, if your mule and this character are in the same guild, it should show up right at the top, right in light blue. Send a request to join, then log off, log back onto your mule. You'll see the request from your other character. Go ahead and accept that, then log off, log back on to your running character, and you should see the invite to join the group. Once you're in the group, go ahead and head to the instance. Uh, I do prefer to make the group before I start heading there, just because it's uh, you do have to wait for 
your character that's going to do the run to actually become the leader the leader of the group anyways okay so in a few minutes uh it's about two or three minutes your mule will eventually pass leader once it's been offline for too long um and here here's where other guides have made a lot of mistakes from as far as i can tell they tell you that you got to bring your mule to the instance and you got to zone in then you got to accept it then you got to log off inside the instance and then you got to like zone in and blah 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 and do all <laughs> a lot of that stuff is not necessary all you need to do once you have leader it's two things and maybe even one but this is what i do two things you change the raid difficulty to something else and then change the raid size to something else back and forth one time each that's it okay again you could probably get away with doing just one of these but i do both just to be safe and that's what i've been doing forever okay after that you're good to zone in Once you're in, you should get a pop-up warning that you're about to get saved to an instance that's already in progress. And notice here that Yog saron for me is still alive. Okay? So, now all you gotta do is kill the boss, pray that your mount drops, get really sad when it doesn't, hearth out, kick your mule, drop the group, rinse, repeat. It's that simple. Okay? I'll go ahead and play the whole clip here showing the boss dying and me logging out onto my mule and showing you um, that the raid logout is still intact. Okay, that way I'm able to do this on my other characters this week. All right, well, that's it, <laughs> very simple. Um, I wish you guys good luck on your runs. I know um, I've been doing this for a while and I've gotten pretty lucky, so hope you guys have the same luck. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll be sure to answer them. You can also visit me on my stream, twitch.tv slash bumlock underscore TV, and you can ask me anything you want there. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.